In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom GPT within OpenAI's new feature without any previous knowledge about how those things work and how complex they can get if it comes to custom actions. Because everything you're gonna see within this video will be provided as a template within our resource hub under hub.indigraticals.com. So you can simply download those files there. And you will also learn how to connect a custom GPT with make.com and how you can create a custom action that can actually create draft emails within your inbox. We are using the custom action features from within GPT for that along with some web scraping feature that is also offered directly and natively within GPT. For simplicity reasons I try to keep everything as simple as possible and I'm not gonna go too deep into the details. If you simply follow along what I'm doing on the screen everything will seem kind of like self-explanatory for you. The custom GPT we are going to create today will help us to create draft emails for specific purposes that are completely custom and tailored for a specific need so I don't need to re rewrite them myself. And I would also like to have them directly within my draft inbox inside of my Gmail account. But further ahead, let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is we create a custom, custom GPT with this button here and we could make it conversational, but since I already provide everything to you for free within our resource app, we simply click to configure and you can head into our template under the resource app and when you scroll down a little bit, you can see create the custom GPT and the name. So this will be the name of our custom GPT, which we paste in here. We call it appointment draft helpers. Then the description is basically just uh, an assistant for adding appointment setting emails. Then the instructions is what, it did, what the bot is, like the constraints for the bot that needs to follow, that he needs to follow whenever he does something. That also includes stuff like leveraging the actions that are available. That is something I figured out through creating a couple of bots that this works better. And conversation starters, starters are just simple text snippets that can be pre-selected so you don't need to write all of them by yourself. I'm just gonna add two of them now. You can add as many as you want. You can add your own ones as well because that's literally the only things that I pay here and I usually don't use them too much. The knowledge feature is amazing, but it's nothing I need right now. But what it basically does is allows you to upload a document with information that you would like the bot to have access to. So let's say, for example, you have uh, a lot of company information that you would like this bot to have access to that he can always reuse and repurpose within their emails or the email drafts you're gonna create. It makes sense to upload a document with those informations there. Other capabilities, we can leave it as it is, but I always suggest to keep the web browsing on because it just allows you to create more tailored emails, but you will see that in a bit. Now, before I'm actually going to head into the actions, what I would like you to do is to download the make.com template that we provide within our resource hub right here. And you can import that within the scenario under the three dots and import blueprint. And once you did that, it looks something like this. So you will have your webhooks trigger and you will have a Gmail action. And the Gmail action is basically there to create a draft while the webhook is there to actually trigger that scenario. So once you have set that up, we are going to head into ChatGPT. We click on add actions and now you will see a field called schema or schema, whatever you would like to call it. And you can also select from examples. We don't need that because we will provide you that massive JSON right here. So you can simply copy that whole thing and paste it right in there. And don't worry, there's not much to change or adjust. And I'm gonna show you what needs to be adjusted in the first place. But before that, once you see the available actions down here, you know you imported the JSON successfully. If there would be an error, you would know you may not have copied it properly. All right, the last thing we need to do to actually connect that action and make it successful, we head back into our scenario. We click on the webhook URL, we copy that address, head back into here, and we are looking for that service URL in here. So I literally just replaced that one here. I copy the Slack, remove the backslash behind the URL, and within this path here, I'll replace this your custom path with that ID that I just copied. And that is literally everything you need to do. Right now, the bot would be ready and we can already try it. So if you would like, you can also create a custom image here. I'm using DALI, I'm just gonna do that. So it might take a second. All right, that's done as well. So now we can simply click on save. I select only me because I'm the only one that will have access to that right now. And I confirm that. And once I confirm that, you will see it opens the chat for me. It's available up here as well in the sidebar. So I can always select it and create a new chat with my specific appointment draft helper. And if you have done that, oh, by the way, you also need to click into Gmail and you can you actually need to select your connection here. That is probably not set up when you install the blueprint. So that's important. So it has access to your specific 
folder and you also need to select the draft folder or wherever you'd like to have the template. Anyways, back to the chat. So now we can actually use it and we can create whatever email templates we would like. So in my case, I'd say I'd like to start a col collaboration with myself, for example. So let's say um, write an email template to Yanis at demo.dev about a possible collaboration on his YouTube channel. You can learn more about Yannis more via his YouTube channel at and then we can just provide a URL because we have access to web search. So the AI is smart enough to search through Bing and which just basically enhances our tailored emails. So all I'm gonna do is I'll provide uh, my URL here, just like that. And when I click enter now, what it should do, what I would expect it, it browses with Bing as you can see here. So it basically goes through anything that it can find in the internet or whatever it deems is necessary in that specific moment based on whatever you say. And okay, it, it says basically you can find some information about my YouTube channel. Yeah, like the channel name. So obviously you can, you can play around now and say stuff like, uh, I, I like to customize the template. Let's say, uh, make the template shorter, whatever you would like. So it basically, you basically adjust it until you're actually happy with it. And whenever you're happy with it, you can say something like, thanks, please create a draft email now. So this will basically start the custom action we just built and you can see in a second that it prepares a info, like a response or a request in that case to our make.com scenario and you can see that by the domain or the URL that is written here. So it's like the subdomain hook.u.make.com which is the webhook URL that we actually have within here. So now it already prepared the request. We can check it by clicking on this little icon here and you can see that it has the two email properly set, the subject test, the content set, and all of that looks great. So I'm just gonna allow that. And now we head into my draft folder, which is where this draft email should appear in case it gets generated and it does. <laughs> so you can see it has the email there, it has the subject that was set there, and it has the email template that we just created. So you can basically create completely custom tailored emails directly within ChatGPT or within your custom GPT, and they can be directly linked to your inbox so you can generate the emails. This can save you hours of time if you use it properly, if you enrich it in whatever way you'd like. And I hope this little tutorial gave you a little bit of a hint on how you can actually use those custom actions in combination with GPT to create your own workflows or your own automations. If you would like me to go more in depth into actions, I'm very, very happy to make a video about it. Just drop me a line down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, obviously feel free to follow me. I'm going to make a lot of more tutorials like this. And that's it for now. See you next time.